Hello everyone, Santa Duck 2, welcome to another mod overview, this time on Vanilla Experience. I wanted to simply add in a bunch of features from prior updates that were removed and brings them back in, as well as some additional stuff I think as well. So, uh, we'll just go down. Uh, I'm not too sure how to make zero tick farms work, but I could try. Uh, let's see, so we'll try a cactus here, and we'll try some sugarcane and such, and we'll just get those, and see, I guess, vines also count, stuff down there, and I think I can probably set the bed of tick speed to zero, there is two things, I'm not sure if that's a way I can actually try to get a zero tick farm to happen, um, either way. Zootic farms are definitely back. Um, obviously, I'm no expert at this, so I can't really cover it that much. I'm assuming these are the affected things that um, applies to Zootic farm, the Zootic farm feature being back. Uh, you've got it so you can sneak on berries and don't take damage, and uh, instead you can put on armor and boots and leggings and such as well, maybe? Okay. Uh, so let's get some. Uh, these just because why not? So we'll just put some berries on some grass. So let's see if we just walk into it. We don't. We sneak. We don't. Do I have the bone ring or anything somewhere here? Do I take damage walking into it? I do by sneaking. Do I have leggings? I still do. My boots. Is it only while sneaking on with armor? Nope. So it's supposed to be you don't or you do? You can sneak on and don't take damage and still. Okay. It's very particularly worded, so I'm not too sure what's going on. Okay. We can also bone meal some things here. Yep, I just wanted to make sure because I almost thought I didn't even have them on installed for a second. Um, which I definitely do. Yep. So that's fine. So I'm not too sure what the case is with that. Um, unless it's like protection or some other things, maybe. Uh, you've got it so you can bone meal, cactus, sugarcane, and vines, or you can use this with a dispenser if you don't want to by hand. Um, just with vines, I'm not getting much. Okay, my sugarcane, and we'll just keep going. Cactus, I can do the same, and we'll keep going. And I can put it on any part of the block, and we'll keep bone mealing it. Constantly. Vines, I assume it has to have another block nearby for it to do something, so we'll just go to here for example, because that's good, and then maybe do it each side. Uh, I'm not too sure. Unless it needs to be at a certain height, then I can do it downwards, or on the side like that. That's probably not intended. Um, but that's probably what it's supposed to do, not like that. Um, that's kind of strange. Um, I don't know if you could automatically do it with the looping and twisting. I think you probably could, but I'm not sure. Um, we'll get a dispenser, of course, and just do some of that, just to see. And we've got bone meal, and if we do this, what do we want to do? If we just do it at this height, just trying to use it. A bit higher, a bit higher, I assume. So if I get, a, I'm trying to think, a meal, and would I want a clock or something? I'm trying to think, I don't have a timer, I don't. I'll just get a bunch of repeaters and things and try and keep setting this off and see if that'll work. Um, no, I do want a bunch of blocks, otherwise, get the leather back, get a bunch of blocks and expand this out. So it'll make it easier for the clock. So this, 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 and this, and then one that, and that, and that, and that, and then we'll. No, I did it too quick. Whoops. Okay. Maybe I could delay it as well to work out for me. There we go. So that should keep on there. I'm hoping, unless I stuffed it up somewhere, which is 
exactly. There we go, so that'll keep bone one for us. There we go. So that's, and now we could do the same with seeds, of course, if we just had dirt, which I don't have any on me. So we'll just do this, and we can do that. So we can convert two grass blocks easily, and obviously you can dispense that as well. You can also get grass from grass seeds as well, which is interesting. So that's cool. Um, let's see. Place this here. That's not going to trigger anything. Uh, so we can pick and break that. Oops, that's not what we want. We'll keep doing that. Come on, we'll break this properly. Get some redstone dust, dispenser, and seeds. Okay, so if I do this with a dirt block, I can. Oh, and it'd also do it on top of it as well, so I could keep doing that, and it would give me grass, and I could get more grass seeds, or whatever else is supposed to happen there. So that's good to know. Uh, otherwise, I think that is it. There is the mob spawning on Wither Roses. So I should get a Wither Rose, and we'll try spawning mobs on it. Or in place of it. I need to obviously go into creative so I don't take too much damage. And yeah, so I think spawning them in the same place definitely probably worked. Um, but otherwise, yeah, so there's that zombie. Which obviously I've got it set to otherwise, so yep, that'll take damage. Um, but other than that, I think I'd probably want the summoning, I think, effect. So, so summon. We'll just go random mob, uh, I guess a creeper. We want yes, yes, and yes. And we just want, I guess, one or two. Not even set that up. And then we'll just spawn them in. So, yeah. So you can spawn them in the same place. So that is obviously something different. Um, Otherwise, you can actually put multiple types of protection on armor now, just like before. So you've got you've got armor back, basically. And if we just do this, we can get a chest plate, for example. That will do. Just get a chain one. We can do this, and I will do it obviously in survival as well as with creative. Sometimes you can put multiple things on that you can't usually otherwise. So, and I'm just going to increase my XP levels to a high amount. So we've got protection 4, and we've got fire protection, and we've got blast protection, and we have projectile protection on here. So god armor is definitely possible again. And then we've got uncraftable items that are craftable, which I don't know exactly all of them, but I've got a few that you could typically fit under that. So you've got name tags, which if I go into the anvil, made with diamond block, paper, and string, so quite expensive. Uh, you've got a saddle with iron blocks and leather, you've got an enchanted golden apple with gold blocks, the prior tier, and netherite, in comparison just four gold blocks surrounding it or so. Uh, nether star doesn't, you've got horse armor on any of these, so there's that. Uh, I'm assuming most of the typical stuff that you wouldn't see, um, that you'd see coming back with recipes, um, like the golden apple and a few other things, but I don't think there's anything else. It's not like everything that's uncraftable is now craftable. Um, leads obviously already had a recipe. Um, we'll try like a nether warp block or crimson warp. Nope. So that, and you can't convert it back. So that doesn't have one. Um, gold ore, nether egg. So pretty much certain common stuff I assume like um, what you'd expect is there. Uh, and I think that was it. I don't think there was something for like the Totem of Endymion. Totem works in the inventory. Here we go. So I'm going to try that now. Uh, so that it's not now hotbar. We'll just drown again. Alright. So we'll just swim around a bit. And we'll just go to the deeper depths, for example. And we'll start drowning, and I don't really need those armor pieces anymore. So 
let's wait for this, and any moment now we should be drowning and it should actually have the totem of a nine actually work for us. So it's not just in our hopper and it's also not in, say, an additional slot. Oh, and it crashed. Okay, it crashed actually doing that, so that's good to know. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching and goodbye.